Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix this accessory is not supported problem on your iPhone. So now we are just going to access to this article that is treating this problem. So basically the first fix that you will need to try is to unplug and reconnect your device that has the problem. So basically you will need just to tap dismiss button on the notification that is appearing for uh, this problem and then try to uh, unplug in it and reconnect it again with without this notification. If the notification persists, you will need just to try and restart your iPhone. To do so, you will need just to click on the volume up button and hold uh, the side button or the turn on button until it shows this page. Then you will slide to power off and then you will have your iPhone that will be restarted. After that, you will need just try another accessory to find the problem is it from your port or is it a problem from your cable. So basically now you will need just to check the adapter and make sure that it's clean and that your adapter is uh, dry and not has you know, problems. And as you can see, it, say, it suggests also to clean your charging port just to make sure that it is not a problem from the port and it is a problem from uh, the device. So basically ensure that the lightning connector is dry and the most important thing, make sure that this uh, device that you are using, it is certified. So if the problem still persists, you can try to forget all uh, the adapters. So for example, you can just go uh, to the headphone safety etc and then go to lightning adapters and then try to forget all the adapters and try to connect them again so if the problem still persists you will need just to uh, go to the general settings and then go to software update to update your ios system because it can be just a problem of compatibility with your uh, iOS. So you need just to click on download and install and then you will have your problem fixed. Otherwise, if the problem is still uh, persisting, that means that it can be only some hardware problems and then you will need just to take your iPhone for physical repair. So basically, this is how you can do it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.